Power Book Three, Raising K Dogs, Episode Seven. Stay in your lane. Thoughts? Are you not embarrassed? Listen, is this not embarrassing? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Everybody should be ashamed of themselves. I, I, I don't even know where to fucking start. I do. I do. Where? Rock called a hit and Lulu fucked up. Nigga, he's face first in Vash. He's not even looking at you. Where the fuck are you shooting? <laughs> Why did you bring a tech to that? Why did he miss with the tech? With the tech. You had 200 bullets and missed 200 times. Where's little young Dolph? How the hell you miss a hundred <laughs> shots? <laughs> like, say, I just want to understand if you doing a hit like that, my nigga. And then where the fuck did you go when he popped out? Yeah. This nigga was on foot. He ain't go get no car, no shit. Like, nigga ran on, on foot in the fuck damn is you at? Run that nigga down. He's running in, down the street in his drawers. <laughs> nigga, shoot that man. Like, you should have brought a handgun. You masked up. Two stepping in. You fucking 40 belows. Timberland, respond to my DM. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep bugging y'all till I get a response back. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, you should have just brought you a ham, a handgun or a shoddy. Nigga was eating a cuda, and you come whole back turn, bro. He don't know what the fuck is going on. Shorty looked at him like, I don't, I don't know if he just didn't want to shoot old girl because that, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what that was. Like he's down here, you shooting up on the fucking headboard. <laughs> that nigga got aim like Jay Reed. <laughs> Okay, hold on, wait, wait, I'm gonna get it again. Fuck. And it took forever to reload. Then it started Long enough for him to escape out the window. Craziness. Yeah, man. I, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know if it was just Lulu didn't wanna did it wanna actually do the shit. But he's known for doing the shit, so I'm I'm, I'm just killed D Will a couple weeks ago. He's unfocused, bro. Had bruh. no problem. Had no issues putting that bitch right to his Medulla. He unfocused, but, bro. But, but homeboy, you. Fuck. God damn it. Shit. <laughs> He's like unfocused, bro. He focused on the music. Jackson an ad lib. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. But on the other side, Marvin is taking Kanan's gas station idea. I think that was always the plan. That was the seed that Kanan wanted to plant. He wanted it to be popular. Right, so not only did he have leverage over Marvin, but so that when he go back to the niggas, he has legitimacy. He has an up. Hold on, though. According to the family, they think that's unique, though. Y'all didn't peep that. Yeah, no, I peeped it. They said, "Yeah, unique." Got the guy. And then Uncle Marvin started hiding it from. Yeah, according to Rock and Lulu, right? The the niggas that he got pushing at the Chevron know what the fuck is up. Obviously, right? So they don't know what the fuck is up. They don't know what's them. Yeah. Because he's trying to set up his own thing. Seems like. Which is fucking dumb. I don't think it is, man. I don't think Rock is... She's, she's the same way um, Monet is to, to Kane. She doesn't give him enough to keep him engaged. Yeah. You don't give him enough to keep him engaged. Why wouldn't you send send him with Lulu? Why? Why? Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you send him to make sure it gets done? The right way. Or just done completely. Like working on that shitty ass apartment in the Jets is not that important. Got this nigga it ain't like he got a hammer and nail putting shit together anyways. You got this man doing HVAC. He fucking <laughs> supervising a fucking crew while work is being done. To, to lay Give down him the work, especially the work that you know he can do. Yeah. Lulu's heart ain't in that shit. Marvin's is. He wants to prove himself, so let him. But she's so busy trying to have an iron gripped around a nigga's neck that she going to push him into doing something stupid like that. Yeah, no, she literally told Symphony that she wants to give the game to Lulu. Like, she wants to stop, you know, doing the shit and then be with Symphony and give the game to Lulu. Lulu. Even though Lulu don't want to do it. Lulu don't want it. Clearly don't want to do it. She need to be trying. Same thing with Drew. Drew didn't want that shit. Kane did. And instead of grooming him and teaching him, you want to ostracize him. And making the black sheep. That's always going to make that nigga leave. He's always going to 
that person, whether it's Kane or Marvin, that person is always going to rebel at some point. Yep. You're only going to sit there with your hand out for so long. Facts. Speaking of Symphony and Rock, Symphony disclosed some information about liking Hall and Oates, which I thought was hilarious. How you name Symphony and you can't sing? That's, that was embarrassing. He sounded like, uh, it reminded me of Tom from the Boondocks when he was singing. Tom Dubois. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, smile. See what I'm saying? Same shit. Hold your smile off me. Some Same shit. shit. See, some shit you should keep to yourself. <laughs> like that. Even though... I fucking love Hall and Oates too. Same, same. I was about to say, man. We white can't, soul. Man. We can't. We can't diss white soul. No, no, not at all. So for the longest, I have not been connected to Jukebox and her little relationship. I love Jukebox's story. I just don't give a fuck about her relationship until, you know, I'm, uh, it's part of her grooming, though. But yeah, her it, her story it's been is interesting. Fire. Like it's it's important to her maturation. So from that aspect, yeah, I, I've been I've been watching that pretty closely. I don't understand what the fuck Shorty's issue was. Nicole. Stealing? Like, it's one thing to be at a party and somebody pass you spliff or some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole other thing to steal crack out of somebody's book bag. But you saw the nigga put shit in the blunt last week and you still hit it. So this is obviously not her first rodeo or just... I think it is. I think that first hit got her hooked. And so she was probably looking for some other shit because if you notice, well, well she w- wasn't even looking for it though. She she was going in there to put the little envelope in the bag. Yeah, but when she found it, what would possess you to take it? Now that is a whole other like thing. you've been fucking with with Juke for all this time. You know she boosts. You know her family sell drugs. You obviously know about coke because you didn't shy away from hitting it when he put <laughs> the sniffer fritz in the blunt, right? Yeah. So you obviously know what drugs are. So I'm assuming that you know the difference between coke and crack. You win with Juke all this time. You ever seen her do some crack? You ever seen anybody she was with or fucks with do crack? Right. Yeah. What have the people that you have seen doing crack look like? Fucked up. Right. Why would you ever be 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 to a level where you're willing to go to that length for a high? Like that's why I feel like she probably she got hooked. Right then and there, but you're stealing from your girlfriend. That was, I don't understand. As if she was there. not gonna realize the shit was gone. Like she didn't even go through the steps of, hey, you know what? I think I want to try coke again. Can you hook me up with somebody? Like that's or that is the natural. You would have thought I'm it would have developed a little bit. Yeah, the like human thing of I found this in your bag. What's this? Right, you know what I'm saying? Well, oh yeah, what's this? Oh yeah, no, you don't want that. You sure? I think I might want it. <laughs> <laughs> she had a bell of that blue magic. Well, like, yeah, can we can we get to Blue Magic, please? Please, can we get to, to the fucking creator and cultivator yes. of Blue? Yeah, of we, talk about, we talk about well, more Kana. better Blue. We talk about Kanan. Well, Kanan whipping up Rock. This nigga is and the nigga was whooping up fet- stu- is the dumbest dumb. Fetty, he was whooping up fentanyl. It it makes so much sense why Tariq is a fucking idiot. Because he learned the game from somebody who was a fucking idiot <laughs> when he was his age. Like, oh my god, he's so fucking stupid. Like, dog. Who the fuck are you? And the niggas that just got, got tapped to, to serve at the gas station? Fam, he's 15 years old. This nigga came in and said, do you know who do I am? Do you know who I am? Bitch, I will beat you up. <laughs> who are you talking to? Niggas at the gas station? That whole That's thing is my man. idea. It's my idea. I'm the Stop it. You here. I don't give a fuck about your idea, nigga. You a kid. These are real gangsters you talking to. What are you talking about? You talking to real killers and you y- y'all letting this little little shithead punk y'all, this little bugger picker. Every punk time y'all. this nigga decide to do something, he fucks shit up. Every single time. This nigga hasn't done one thing right since this show started. Ever. <laughs> Not one. Ever. He hasn't Ever. done one thing Ever. right since Ever. the show started. Everything he does comes back and bites him in the ass within 15 Every minutes. Every fucking time. And I mean, not even just with the drug business, with his mom, with Symphony, with the cop, with, with Davina. 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 Oh my God. He is a walking fucking destruction path. Everything that nigga touches dies Gets locked up or shot. Why did Davina go on the date if she heard the song? If she heard the song and knew they were talking about Buck 20, why did she go on a date? 
Uh, because she feels equally as guilty about giving up Kane and Stash House. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is my I'm sorry, not sorry. Like I'm sorry, but to then my she decided to still bring it up. She's realizing that Kanan knows more about what happened to Buck now. She's connected, but at the guys. same time, for her to flesh that out, you gonna have to get to the fact that I told Unique about your about the spot. Mm. Right? So like, I don't, uh, I don't think she gonna come right out and say it. But when it it is going to come out, and I would be interested to see how they. How they work with was that. she hung with this nigga the night after the showcase? Yeah. Was she at the uh, showcase? Not the night after, the same night. The same night. He did. But she, she wasn't there, though. We should nah, but All they, I could do was think about she, you. She heard the song after, after the fact. After okay. the showcase. Okay, so okay, 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 uh, okay. Yeah. The, uh, Unique is going back to her, though. Oh, he for definitely sure. Definitely going back to her. If he that, got that, that he bit done. of priceless information, he's yeah, going back he's to her, for sure, for sure. He ain't done. This was the first time that I seen him shook, though. I don't know why he thought he was so confident in being able to flip Lulu. That easy. Yeah, like I don't I don't on one hey. try. On one try. Can we talk about how gangster of a scene that was from Yo, Lulu? I love I don't know what his name is, but the dude that played Kevin on, on Snowfall. Uh, Malcolm Malcolm Mays, I think. Yeah, Malcolm May. Solid nigga. Solid. He not a, him not an ounce of fear in his body. Called Ice in his veins. Unique a flinch. Called Unique a bitch ass nigga, and then told the other nigga he a pussy eater, <laughs> letting him know that he was a hitman. I was the nigga that almost took you out while you was letting eating him pussy. know that he was a hitman. Yo. That shit was one of the most gangster scenes I think I've ever seen. And Up I there, I just got this problem, man. It's, it's I just don't like working with bitch ass niggas <laughs> like you, you and know. pussy eater. Pussy eaters. <laughs> Wait a minute, it was you. Yo, side note, <laughs> pussy eater being an insult in the 80s is nuts. It's just funny as fuck. It's funny as fuck. Coochie was frowned upon. <laughs> that, that, that is a fact. That is a fact. Coochie eater as an insult is hilarious. It's, it's up there with Cole nigga drive turkey in the 70s. <laughs> 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 just imagine how furious that somebody would be. Well, you, you call me what? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking coochie eater. <laughs> Lick it yeah. for you, stick it. I, I guess so, man. Gotta eat it up. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't know why he he felt so confident to air that out. He because he must be at the end of his rope. He he ready to to get down to the to, retire, to the nitty. To you know, reti- what I'm not even necessarily retire, but to get the game up. I will say though, Raquel is too thirsty for the new connect when she met with Shorty's cousin. Thank you. At the boxing match. She was I, just too. I ready. think she wants to. Like pipe, they don't have any product. Pipe she down, gotta. Sis, she I, has to get it. Like I'm sorry, sis. think she wants to fuck though. No. I think she wants to fuck. No, I wouldn't say fuck. the way she no. stared at him as he left. She's trying to get. Plus, the product, I think she's like. I think she's struggling with the nice guy of Symphony. Like, I think she's kind of struggling. I don't think she's gonna. The, sleep. I don't. I don't think it. I don't, I don't think, think that like was that. sexual at all. I, I think oh, she's no. up against the wall. Her product running low she's is panicking. two, f- four, five, six, seven, eight times stepped on. Niggas ain't even buying this shit no more. They fucking with unique. She has to get coke. She needs coke. Or else she gonna start losing money. Listen, all them niggas ain't working for her for free. Tap into that savings. time is money. She Tap needs into that product. Savings. Tap into that savings, and you tell niggas it's quiet till it get right because you being too thirsty is gonna scare niggas away. Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Because he, he even said he even said like I'm, I'm encouraged by this conversation. I like what I heard. I'll be in yeah, touch. We'll talk later. Yeah. So like it, it's it's not. Yeah, she's desperate. But she's desperate. Yeah. You know what I mean? She don't have another face no to choice. wear right now. She ain't got no yeah. choice. She ain't got no she, choice. She, if she walked in there and didn't stress the fact that she needed that fucking coke and mm-hmm. it would have been a possibility, that's malfeasance. You know what I'm saying? That, facts, facts, you know facts. What I'm saying? That, that's just, that's silly. If you can get it today and he gonna give it to you, do anything that you can to get it because conditions are dire. Mm-hmm. That out. Yeah. It's bad. And hell, him and his mans, his mans might be working with Lulu, nigga. He know about the music shit. Right. That was... Kind of crazy that he was spitting the bars back to him. So yeah. now they got double problems. Not only are they low on product, but you out here dealing hot doses. Yeah, you mm-hmm. out here. You you. Oh man. Oh no no yeah. no no. No, it's bad. It's all bad. It's terrible. A whole house, like the whole spot was filled. Like, what are they gonna do with twenty dead junkies? Mm-hmm. Burn the house down. Something. Yeah, you're right. 
Yeah, that's probably really the the most likely it. Do, yeah. it. It was an electrical fire. It was an old abandoned building. It was a bunch of homeless people living there. Yep, it's unidentified. Easy explanation. Dog, like how much of a dickhead do you feel like that you had so much confidence to wh- whip up this batch? You, you would have thought audacity. this nigga was Frank Luke himself. You'd have thought he was Franklin Sanders. I'm cooking, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, mix a little what bit of shit. Bad, put some extra in here. Fuck it. Let's put the whole motherfucking shit in Nigga here. didn't even bandana up like his mom told him to. Nigga was still on his bubble mm. jacket. He did not even do the proper pre whatever, whatever. Like his mom instructed him to. You got too much pride. You got too much mouth. I don't right. even understand why she's continuing. Like, so she apologized to Symphony, right? Which which should have happened an episode ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But how is she not realizing the light touch that she's having on Kanan is what's fucking him up ultimately? Why do you keep giving this nigga opportunities to do shit and the only thing he do with the opportunity is fuck it up? More and more. He didn't caught a body. He didn't gave up the stash. Now we out here killing people with the fucking work. So, 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 so now that you know you got a house full of junkies, because you know she's going to find out, however the fuck she's going to find out, you know she's going to find out. So now that you got a, a house full of dead junkies and it's all Kanan's fault, 100%, now what you going to do? He's still going to be baby drug dealer? Right. You're going to send his ass to live with grandma like you need to. Yeah. Speaking of which, obviously, Kanan's hiding the blue tops from her. She's hiding the whole detec- Detective Howard thing. That's going to backfire. And why is Detective Howard in the first place, like basically dancing around the subject with Kanan? Why don't he just. Because he wants him to get it from her so that when he realizes, he'll come back to him. Yeah. Uh, so out, ass. That's so If trash. I come out and I be like, I'm your daddy, you ain't going to believe me. Or you're going to get mad as fuck, take it back to your mom, and you ain't going to talk to me no more. Okay. However, if I just keep nudging you and say, look, man, I think you should really talk to your mom about, you know, Sex me and book. her. Textbook manipulation. Right we, there. we go, we that go way back. Ass. We go way back. I think you should really talk Excuse to me. her. Narcissism. Let's keep keep planting them seeds. Keep planting them seeds and just watch them grow. Kanan Starks, I'm your dad. <laughs> you Kanan you Howard, boy. I'm your mom. You Kanan Howard. U K H K H. Yikes. <laughs> No, this uh, this this episode had a lot of great writing in it. Between obviously the Lulu scene, the crackheads dying, um, and then Juliana, the the bodega store chick, her face. She had a nice little up. scene in it too, where yeah. she was just basically like, you know, you you chose us, I chose you too, yeah. because you seem like a you know a strong woman. Like, don't forget about me when y'all do this shit. Come save me. Shout and out. that's it, I think that's what that was. It was the one time we saw her without all the scars and bruises. That's a fact because he's away with another joint with the hoe. Yeah, yeah. with the hoe with the with his puta. But I think that was you know that was clear in the writing that they they made sure that she didn't have any scars and bruises this time when she starts to be a little bit more strong. I thought that was dope. Um, I feel bad for Juke. Let's talk about it. Yep. Like, yep. She got all suited up, did her little Janet Jackson dance in the mirror. Was yep. ready. Auntie saw you looking fly. Rock she had a nice little moment with her again. You. She embraced yeah. you, accepted you for who you are. She understands, didn't question you. You got somebody in here that's rooting for you. You know what I'm saying? Hell, the girl really liked you. Yeah. The girl really liked you. She understood your background, didn't judge you for it. I mm-hmm. could have been sneaking around doing your thing off into the sunset in Central Park. Yeah. But thanks to your dumbass cousin, was sitting out there waiting outside to dance. And I will say, Shorty's from Oregon. She's from Portland, Oregon. Who is? A jukebox. Oh, oh she- the person who's playing? She's an acting ass motherfucker. And she's young. So hats off to her for an amazing job. But damn. Yeah. I um I wonder. This is actually kind of fucked up. If she's even gonna know, yeah, yeah, I, yep. Juke is not the type of person to show up to her house and beat on her door and be like, "Why'd you stand me up?" She's just never gonna talk to you again. She's exactly. gonna find out. She's gonna find out on. The, I feel like what's gonna happen. She's gonna find out in the news that shit's going around, and her picture's gonna come across, and she's gonna sneak into the funeral. That's I could, what I'm. That's I could, what I'm thinking. I could kind of see that. She sneaks. Into I also the thought that this could just be the thing that obviously assists in her being jaded. I don't think this is the one thing that makes her jaded, mm-hmm. but I think, you know, she's like, oh, I got stood up by her. I can't believe she did this shit to me. Like, she's gonna, that starts a little bit of her being jaded. She's going to play it back of what happened with her cousin, gave her the keys, gave her the shit. Was like, oh, she, as soon as she find out that she died of a, a drug overdose, she's going to know. 
Yeah, like she gonna know. She gonna get the fucking around. And be like, where'd you get this from? Oh shit! Why don't you throw it back? No. It's my but does she find out that Kanan was the one to cook there, or does she find out that her dad was the one with blue tops? So, I think the fact that she, you know, caught the crack. If she finds out that it was crack that she OD'd on, she's going to inquire about who gave it to her. Well, you know what? Because Kanan very literally handed her the blue top, so it would have had to have been Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how did he get it, though? He could have just got it from her dad, or he could have made it on. It's going to be pushed on her dad, but she can't say... Cause her, yeah, it's going to be pushed on Marvin. You, it would have to be Kanan that both lies to her, though. It's going to be pushed on and both And be like, ones. it was Marvin. Well, you know how with your dad and blah, 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 because there's always, there's plenty of times she scooped him up and she just kept walking. Damn, yeah. this web of lies is deep because they're so intermingled with each other. Everybody lying. Everybody she, still lying knows, she still knows about D-Wiz. Yep. Damn. Damn. I don't, I don't know how it's going to all get exposed. It wasn't this bad and in Big Rich Town. a lot of people have shit no, to it lose. Wasn't. It right. was not. It was not this bad in Big Rich Town, fam. <laughs> I see, there's I see. a few white lies. I see so many people justifying the way that Ghost went out by, oh man, he just kept lying, he kept lying, he kept lying. He was selfish. So all of these motherfuckers should die because everybody in here, everybody involved, lying is selfish. For their own good. You also, uh, a couple weeks ago, said that you likened um, Symphony and Rock to Angela and Ghost. Yes. Well, Rock is now trying to get out of the game and be with. Because of Symphony. Yep. yep. Because of Symphony. I thought that was interesting. Just wanted to point that out. But her son will keep her in the game because she has to clean up because his mess. Because she doesn't focus on her son, just like James was not focused on Tariq. So is Kanan the one that's going to kill his mom? Baby gangster. Nah, he ain't going to kill, kill his mom. He's going to be the reason nah. why she because of all because of all the lies. Nah, he ain't going to kill her, but he's going to be the reason why she dies. Though. Yeah, no, he will be the reason. I'm gonna say that now. I don't know what he's the fuck gonna happen definitely going to be the reason. But if she died, <laughs> Kanan did it. Yep. <laughs> Kanan did it, and he's going to have that dumbass perplexed look on his face that he does every episode. <laughs> what I mean, I ain't know. Hold up, wait. I ain't know. First question. <laughs> Please don't tell my mom. <laughs> like how you mom. how you turn mom. from OG to Please don't tell my mommy to baby Loke. So quick, baby Loke, so fast. Start we know, pissing your we pants. gonna tell my mom. Thanks for watching another Back of the Bus Squad episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want to check out another episode related to this, go ahead and click that video to the left. And if you want to catch up on some of our other episodes, make sure you click the playlist below.